kakaro te rā tapu tau puru ai ho te rangi tī ho re te rangi waru hi a ki a mātou koe ki te kete a tā ne ho mai hei tohu mato na matu i te rangi Tā tai ti a rā ti whai a ki runga rā ki a matariki ki a tutahi ki a rehu a ki a takuru a ki a tautoru Ki a vānui, ki a pūanga, ki a pōtū, te rangi, ki a marere o tonga, ki a tariao, ki a whakāhunuku, ki a whakāhurangi. Ki a kōpū, ki a pare ārau, ki a taumatakuku, ki a te kokotā, ki a viti kaupeka, ki a mariao. Ki a hotu i te hirangi, ki a pia wai, ki a otamara kau, ki nō vetu tapu o te tau. Ringi hia e te kete ko te i ka nui o te rangi ka ngaro ki runga rā ti he mauri o rā Manawa mai e te putango matariki manawa mai e te ariki o te rangi manawa mai e te matahi o te tau In the beginning, Sky Father Ranginui and Earth Mother Papatuanuku lay in a close embrace with their many sons between them. For eons they lay within the confinement of an unbreakable bond, or so it seemed. But within the shroud of darkness festered a rebellion that threatened to tear them apart. The sons of Rangi and Papa had gathered in secret. He kaupapa kei te haere, te wehenga o Rangi Rauko Papa. There was much bickering amongst the brothers, but in the end, all but one was in agreeance. Ta Firimatea, god of the winds and storms, did not approve of the separation and vowed revenge. With the help of his brothers, Tane separated their parents. Using his powerful legs, Tane thrust his father up into the heavens, causing an almighty explosion that resounded across the cosmos. Deaf to the anguish of their suffering parents, the brothers reveled in their freedom. But it was not what they expected. It was an expanse of dark and cold emptiness that quickly filled with a great flood of their parents' tears. The brothers were miserable and cold in their newfound freedom. Amidst the rain and from the darkness, lightning flashed. A figure of dread emerged. It was Tafiri Mata. The world fell before Tafiri and his wind children, who were intent on one simple purpose. Revenge. One by one, the brothers were defeated by Tafiri Mate. First Tani, then Tangaroa. Eventually, only a defiant Tumatauenga, god of war and humanity, remained. An epic fight ensued, a clash of titans. Two was twisted in the air and slammed back into the ground, followed by a lightning bolt that two caught and hurled back at Tafiri. Tafiri launched a continuous stream of wind and lightning. Thunder resounded, the ground heated and cracked beneath them. Two heaved mightily against Tafiri, his legs locked on the earth, and slowly but surely he advanced against his brother Tafiri. Quicker than the eye could see and the mind could comprehend, two reached out and caught Tafiri Matea. With all his strength and might, two smashed Tafiri repeatedly into the ground. Tafiri Matea was defeated. However, Tafiri Matea, vowing to never let his brothers forget, had one final act of defiance. Clawing out his eyes in anguish and grief, he crushed them in his hands and cast the shards into the heavens. As if still possessing sight, 
Tafidi turned his hollow gaze to Tu Matawinga, uttering one final warning. Know this, I will attack you and your children forever. I will rain down chaos and destruction. I will have my vengeance. Karanakiya with the Mateataku Matsua. You and yours will never escape me. Every time you look to the skies, you will see the Mata of the Ariki. Tafiri Mata. Matariki and remember. When you gaze upon our father, my eyes will look down on you and remind you of what you have 